Today is International Day of Happiness, March 20th, 2014. And I thought, what a great time to once again talk about gratitude and how it can reshape, reform, and refocus your life. We think about the whole idea of happiness. What's the opposite of happiness? Sadness, I guess. And then there's excitement versus boring. There's all these different things in life that people look at each end of the spectrum, if you will. I run into so many people that always talk about, I'm not very happy. I used to be a lot happier when I was a child and I was just playing in the sandbox or on the play field and uh, all of a sudden life got so complicated and serious and here we all became adults. Well, as you can imagine, one of the best ways to deal with something like that is framing your life around gratitude. There's so many things that I hear about all the time that there's record levels of people that are sad and depressed. There's like 95% of the people walking this earth, according to a recent survey, have no purpose or point if they feel in their life. For every 14 minutes now, they say there's a suicide in this country. So all of these things have to do with maybe not being happy like we were as children, or maybe it's just something that was eluding us and we were chasing money or careers or whatever it might have been. But if you focus on gratitude, and specifically too when you use a gratitude journal, something that keeps you focused every single day, five to six minutes to write down and talk about what you're grateful for. It has this effect to really, I think, recreate maybe some happiness that was lost. When you focus on everything you have versus what you don't have, it completely reprograms the brain to start looking at this thing from a standpoint of a glass half full. So on this International Day of Happiness, Think about everything you're grateful for. Think about the people in your life that you're grateful for, the health, your family, your friends, the people that you have in and out of your life that have made you happy. Think about that and focus on it. And maybe on this International Day of Happiness, it'll increase your happiness quotient. But think about what you're grateful for. Be writing in a gratitude journal. It will make a huge difference. That's the message for today. Have a grateful day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.